Hi guys, it's Birdie, and I'm here with Nina, and I haven't done a video, I did a video, I think Thursday, a little bit, of, about a week or two ago, something like that, but I, the last two videos I did without a baby, so sometimes I think I'm going to do a video without a baby, depending on what's going on, because if I wait to do a video with the baby, it's not going to happen, because I am all over the place. And uh, this video is going to be all over the place. This video is going to be me getting Nina dressed. And if you don't know Nina, it's going to be a little bit about Nina. Nina is the first silicone I ever painted. She's not complete. And I'm she, she got a little bit shiny on her because I never matted her. Because I didn't finish painting her. So I just stopped. And the thing is, I think that when you got a lot going on and you painting something, and instead of me just rushing her through and be finished, I said I'm going to stop and go back to it later. Which that's what I did. And even this baby here, I painted one vinyl and it's not complete because I never um, varnished it and I never put eyebrows on it. So I just stopped. And these I did last year or maybe, yeah, she should be, she might be over a year. Was it last year? My sister passed in April? No. I don't think this was last year. It might have been a year, last year or the year before. But these are the only two that I painted so far. This year I said I was going to start back painting. And getting into it a little bit because I, I still have a lot going on. So, let me show you Nina. And last thing Thursday, all my babies was wearing yellow, which they still wearing yellow. So, I was going to put yellow on her as well. Not um, as much yellow, but it's going to have some of the yellow light. Who has this yellow on? My um, Masterpiece doll had this color. It was similar to this here. And I think my haze. But this is Nina, and she's wearing... Oh, this light is so bright looking on her. I was going to put another light on, but I wasn't sure. This is just my living room light. It's so bright. I like um, fluorescent lights. And she's been sitting in this for a while. So I'm going to take everything off of her and try to show you guys her details a little bit. Let me put her back up here. So let me show you her head. I took her hat off. This is her head. I was talking about her earlier. I didn't want to get her dressed. I wanted to get... She's a Yofi baby. Yeah, she's a Yofi baby. Um, I didn't want to get her dressed. I wanted to get Nugget dressed. But Nugget will not fit into this. <laughs> so I didn't I didn't get Nugget dressed because I didn't have anything to put on Nugget that I wanted to put on Nugget. And I don't know where my socks are. None of my socks. I know that I have them. I, like I said, when I say I got a lot going on, that's, that's being very vague. Um, I'm going to take, she don't have underclothes on, like I said, I dressed her and she fits a uh, newborn and that's good. I didn't finish her because I get to see what my paint is doing and how it's doing because I wasn't sure. Like if you paint something and I call myself finishing it, I won't know my flaws or what I did wrong and not that I just stopped painting to stop kind of had to stop and I see she got a lot of boobles so I knew that when I did her she's my first ever painted silicone by me so let's take these pants off of your little boo boo she's a little cutie though I really didn't like the kit when I got her I was mad when I got her because I thought she was something else and I thought she was feeling like something else. But she was my first sculpt to paint and she was at a good price. And so I got her. Because she has a lot of flaws in her kit, in her um, blank kit that I didn't know how to repair before painting her, which I should have prepped her. If I was a professional, I would have prepped her and did a lot of stuff to her before I started painting her. So that's why a lot of her boobs will continue to exist because I didn't know that as I was doing it, I learned it. But um, it's okay. Um, this here was a real boo-boo. I guess you want to say it was a boo-boo kit. But it wasn't sold. I guess it was sold to me as a boo-boo kit. It was a reasonable price, but they didn't tell me that. So, but she is a good baby, though. But these are her feet. I don't know if I showed you guys her before. And she's peeling a little bit on the back, which is wonderful because you see all those lumps on her sculpt? 
I'm not none of my babies in my collection look like this kit so I was disappointed when I got it because I've never seen a blank kit this raw before and I was just not happy because all of the artists that I get kits from or that I buy babies from they smooth them out they perfect and I'm expecting another kit coming and like a nugget she's she's a she's a perfect kit like she would have been perfect to paint but I wasn't dare put paint out nugget for my first time so this is her and let me see what her private looking like because this diaper been on her for all this time it's looking okay um this is her private area that i painted and I, she has veining i don't know if you can see her veining at all but she do have veining you can probably see the one on her chest pretty good this light is so bright looking I like her for my first I really do and she has this big old vein on her leg over here oh this is darker than I thought it was let me see this side okay so that side is darker right there but we um as ethnic people have darker areas in our groin area anyway and the diaper is going to be on it so I'm not concerned with that her hands her hands was, um, forgive how I'm holding her hands, her little nubby fingers. <laughs> and this is her palm. Let me turn her this way. So she fits in my hand pretty good. Now, I do have an injury to my wrist, so I'm sort of being careful with the way I try to raise her weight. Oh, so I think that once I figure it out better... Oh, let me show you her ears her little ears she's a good sculpt I love cuddling with her and I love the um name Nina she is such a cutie pie but I think once I figure out what I'm doing I'm gonna really like her now I'm gonna show you the vinyl one that I did and it is the first one I did and I had to mix my colors so I didn't know what I was doing I didn't know what I was doing. The face, I can't. Oh, I don't like the face. The feet, I like. I like her feet. This is her bottom, her foot. Let me take it off this thing. This is the bottom of her foot. And this is the very first time I did this. And I just sort of mimicked what I was doing with the silicone as far as mixing colors. And this is air dry paints. And I did that and I didn't touch it. It's it been on for the longest. Sitting on this rack. It hasn't peeled or cracked or anything. I didn't varnish it. Because like I said the tips of the fingers got to be done. I got to uh, smooth out some of the coloring. And the face I just des destroyed the face to me. I might could save it. And that's why I didn't work out it no more. Because I wanted to learn whether or not I could save this face. And I don't have a body for this baby. This baby I got at the, I want to say the Rose or the Kansas show. One of them shows I got this kit. I want to say it's the Rose. I'm not sure though. And this is the face or the head. And I'm not happy with this head. Not happy at all. The lips definitely need a lot more detail on them for me. I did do a little redness by the eyes, some veining. I can't say it's terrible for the first time. It's just not what I think I could do. I know I could do better than this. So I wasn't just totally disappointed. And I see some brush marks, I think, in her head. But that wasn't too bad for me because I said I would root it. It's a good soft sculpt. I forgot the name of this kit. You know, I'm not going to be painting expensive kits practicing. I will be doing some of the cheaper sculpts and see what I'm doing because I really don't know what I'm doing. And it's fun learning. And long as I don't feel like I'm going too far in debt with it, I can learn it. Just like when I want to draw. When I learned how to draw, I was drawing on notebook paper. And then I ended up going to, you know, art class and getting canvases and different things. I didn't get the expensive stuff till I had an idea what I needed to do and how to do it. 
So I don't these these are not notebook scraps, but the next baby probably be a notebook scrap for me. And that's how I'm gonna um maneuver that. I was gonna powder her. She don't feel sticky at all. So I don't think I'm gonna powder her. And I wasn't gonna powder her with my matte my um silicone matte. Because if you know me, you know I have a lot of silicones. And I was going to powder her with just regular powder because when I start back working on her, I have to um, wash her and everything again. And I'm not wasting that, that matte powder because it's expensive. And I have abundance of babies to use it. So only the um, babies that I feel suitable will use that because I got to get more actually. I don't know if I go to one of these shows, I will get more or just order it online because the last few um, orders I got was actually at a show. It's a better deal to me at the shows. So sometimes the shows is worth going to just to get the deals. Regardless of what all the rigmarole going on at the shows, I go there for business. <laughs> I, I'm a collector. Business is business. You know, I don't have to like you. But if I get a good deal, I will spend to a certain degree. If you're a total jack, I won't spend. Certain artists I will never buy from. I don't care if they were selling bubble gum and I was hungry. I would not buy it. And her teeny little feet. And what one good thing I do notice about her that I did really well with this kit is she don't have stuff sticking to her. She don't have stuff sticking to her. And when I look at her, when I painted her silicone, there's nothing stuck in her silicone. Like when I was painting her, I did a lot of picking and nothing is embedded in her silicone. Now her back of her um, body is um, peeling. The paint is peeling. And I do know why. I know why, because when I did that part, I didn't um, take the, I want to say alcohol or no wax I didn't take that I didn't wipe her back off with the no wax and I realized I did that after I started doing the silicone so I was like I'm just gonna go with it I messed up and I went with it and she don't have her lip is tucked in I don't know if y'all can see that little lip tucked in I can't stand that lip but a lot of skulls got that lip tucked in I didn't know how to open it so I left it closed and her nose I did I darkened her nose she is a sweetie and she feels so good like I don't know like she feels good she's not as soft as I would like her to be the, the uh, blankets that I've gotten Nugget is soft and really good the one that I got coming you, you will see me open that and I'm hoping that that one is super soft oh my goodness I never thought that I would be able to get this this baby it's not painted but I don't care you know I don't mind a blank sculpt And I've never seen this kit nowhere. Like, this is a Yopi baby. I've never seen this kit anywhere. But when I bought it, like I said, I was looking for something reasonable and something that I didn't mind messing up without breaking my pockets. Now, it was a lot of money to be messing up. I ain't gonna lie. But I can't see selling her because she was my very first. And it's an emotional attachment, actually, because the aggravation it took me to learn how to do what I was doing, this is poured all into this baby. Like, even the fact that her paint is peeling, I can appreciate the fact that her paint is peeling in the back because I know what I did wrong. So as I look at her and I move on and I repair her, I see my flaws and see how where I came from. I'm a big co collector of seeing the beginning to the end. And that's why I don't mind dragon skin. Like, I have a dragon skin baby in my collection. I've been looking for more. Can't find them. I got my Nisi Poo over here. She's an older scope, and I'm loving her. Oh, my gosh. The, and I'll be honest. You people out there with these dolls, I got some beef with you. You guys are... Well, I'm, I'm not going to say you guys, because I might be doing it to somebody and not even know it. But y'all be giving false uh, realities. That's, what I, that's the thing. False realities. When I meet up with my sisters and I see these babies in person and or, 
you holding the baby all this time, talking and all this stuff. And the baby is, that baby heavy. <laughs> that baby heavy. And I did not realize that baby was heavy. I'm just like an ooh and ah, ooh and ah, and oh this and oh that. And when I go to pick the baby up, the baby is heavy. Or the baby is a lot smaller than I thought it was. Or the baby a lot bigger than I thought it was. But you guys put so much love and effort into your collection that it just dupes me. It really dupes me, and I love it. And that's one thing I miss in the community. So I've been actually branching out to other people to watch because I don't go for all the, the Mickey Mouse business that's going on. I forgot to put this t-shirt on her, but that's okay because she didn't have a t-shirt under that one. And it was 74 degrees here, but it's cold now. I don't know what the weather is now, but it is cold. Oh, she got the little thing right there. I'm telling you, I really do like looking back on her to see what I was thinking when I made her. Because I wasn't afraid. I was so curious to see what it would come out like. Because I'm a very critical collector. And if I'm going to be that critical with other collect other artists, I need to be critical with myself and see what it takes to be that critical. Like, do I have that right? Even though I um be that critical, I still believe right to this day I have that right to be that critical. Because if you can't do what I ask or you can't do it, then just don't. Because I know you will never get a custom from me. I don't care if I get good. You would never get a custom from me. Because I'm a pay in the booty when it comes to customs. As an artist dealing with me, I feel sympathy for them because I am very hard to deal with when it comes to getting me a, a custom. And since I'm so difficult, I know I would never do a custom. Because I'm that person that makes you look like, oh, I'm never doing another custom. I'm probably her. I probably am. <laughs> and I don't mean to be. I'm just very picky very picky and that's with everything like i um i'm gonna do a little haul with this video as well it's gonna be a long video y'all because i have to um see my little nugget i wish i could take her with me tomorrow i'm gonna catch a flight in the morning if you know you know if you don't you don't and um i love that little nugget head where's your hat this here, I had, I'm gonna just put right back on her. Uh, I do have some hats. I think I picked up some. I might do a hat a bag here. I don't know. I don't think so. And I forgot something in my room, y'all. I forgot the little Tigger stuff. I have a Tigger outfit. But this here, I'm gonna do a little haul that I went to the store tonight and picked up some stuff for my nieces and nephew. And they, it was on sale. But you know, kids are so expensive. I don't, I don't want this on her, but I'm going to put it there so I don't misplace it. It don't match it. It don't really match anything. So she's going to sit there. Now, for Walmart, I went to Walmart. This is sort of like a haul that I got some stuff on clearance from Walmart, which first of all, these shirts, I don't know if you like these shirts, but this shirt right here was at Walmart for $3. Uh, this one too. I like my shirts big, so these are extra large. And they had they had XX large, XXX X, X large, so if you like them big, they got them. And this here is my bonnet I got from the dollar store. I thought it was so pretty. Let's see what it looked like. I'm going to try it on with you guys. Huh. It's a pretty bonnet. It's pretty. So that's what I got. And for the kiddos, like I got stuff like little snacks. I got this here from Walmart. I got this because what I'm doing is I'm going to hang out with them. So I got these snacks. Just you know how kids are. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, this. Oh, that. So I just got that for my purse. And some activity stuff for us to do. Just um, in transit. While we're in transit, I got um, the LOL coloring book, uh, word search book for a dollar. I got the Paw Patrol book for a dollar, coloring book. 
some good things to have. I know Easter break is coming up. And I got this learn to draw. Because my kiddos, they like to learn how to draw. They like to draw with me. And keep up with me drawing. And I try I don't draw a lot with them because I don't want them to compare their, their art to my art and feel like they not keeping up. And I got ooh, I got some of these here, these are dry erase boards. I got three of them. And of course I got some bacteria hand wipes. That's my sunflower seeds for later. I got the boys some dinosaur tattoos. And I was going to get the girls some fingernail polish, you know, a little cheap fingernail polish. But I think I forgot to go to Burlington to get it because I was at the dollar store and I didn't want to get the dollar store one. And I'm not bringing these toys. These aren't just toys for the house. I don't think I'm bringing them. I'm not sure. I have to go look through them. They had a sale at Walmart. And these guys here was a dollar i mean no these were three dollars three dollars every doll i'm showing you now was three dollars they had encanto i mean yeah encanto who is she marabella she was three dollars she's a big girl nice and chunky she was three dollars now these here i think is not that expensive anyway this i got for the boys a dollar of course hot wheels and this girl i thought she was so pretty she's so curvy like see her hips and then coming out She's so curvy. She was $3. Ouch. And then she was $3. So I got them. <sighs> then I got some sharpeners. Some pencil sharpeners to go with our uh, pencils that we we'll use in our coloring book. I got some. I actually got some gum for me. This is for me. For later. Because I buy towels when I go out. Because when I use towels out, I just throw them away. So I ain't got to worry about bringing stuff home. I got some dry erase markers for those dry erase boards. And that's why I got the wipes too, in case the hands get dirty. And I got me some gum for the plane. And a lot of people like to chew regular gum. I like chewing these and put a lot in my mouth because it makes you use your jaw like and keep your ears from popping. Okay. Then I went over here. I got me some airplane snacks. So my my go-to is hot uh, red hots and goobers. And I got one pack for when I get there. <laughs> Bobby pins I wanted to get. Some pencils to go with the coloring books. Some bigger crowns because one of the youngins are is little. So I got the bigger crowns for them. And I got these crowns cheap because, you know, when you're on a transit, you lose crowns and stuff like that. You don't want to take stuff that's going to cost the most. You leave that stuff at home. So I bought other stuff like this. I got three of these. They was 50 cents. So we could, you know, play with some Play-Doh. I got some more Hot Wheels. And this is for the younger, ba younger baby. I got the big boy Hot Wheels and I got him three of these. So they both got three cars. They're just different sizes because they're different ages. And I got this. Now, blue is my favorite color, so I got his cars blue. He has a bunch of cars here, but I got some blue cars for him to go. I might not take all the blue ones. I might leave one here and take something else that's here and I got the little crowns for the older people and I also got this jumbo coloring book for the younger one because it has bigger pictures in it for the animals to color so he can color on them and I got this because one of my little girls is a princess so I got her the princesses she loves the princess. And I think that's it for that because I left the other stuff in the room. And it was just a Tigger outfit I got from Target. I mean, uh, Burlington. It was like a little bit of stuff I got from Burlington. And I'm not going to get it. I am so not going to get it. But I'm hoping everybody... Oh, thank you for the new subscribers. And welcome to my channel. I hope you like it. Excuse me. 
I'm cooking, of course. If you know me, I'm always in the kitchen. I got some corn cooking for later on because I usually work at night. So at night, I'm up. So I got to mop the whole house because I love coming home to a fresh mopped house. And I got to leave my pets here. My son going to come home and take care of my pets while I'm gone. So at least if I mop the floor, any damage that they do won't be as much as if I didn't mop it. So I just got to wash the dishes that I'm cooking with and mop the floor and finish packing. And I'm good to go. And I just got to open up these things here and put some of the stuff in the bag that I'm actually going to take with me for the kiddos. <clears throat> and it got cold. It was a nice day here. It was 74 here. And all of a sudden, the wind started blowing real hard. Then it started raining. Now it's cold. I don't know. It's probably like maybe 60 degrees, if not lower. It's cold outside now. So I'm hoping that it, well, I know it's going to be cold where I'm going. So it's no doubt to think that if it's cold here, it's definitely going to be cold there. So <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not as long as I thought it was, which is pretty cool. And I wanted to do something. I wanted to, like she, she was a, um, she was a darker, darker, uh, darker blend kit. That's how you say it. Um, biracial I think that's what they say she's a biracial color that means she was like she wasn't the white blank like like nugget she wasn't white like nugget she was tan already so her complexion was lighter it was darker than her feet I lightened her feet up now I was told I wasn't able to do this so I did lighten her feet up so that way it looks pinker to me because I didn't I, we don't have brown feet like most of us don't we have pink feet so i actually light her light in her feet up so this is a really bad i mean if i was buying this baby fully painted i would hope that they would do some extra stuff to it but this is not my quality of collection i will not buy this baby already painted ever because of the way the toes are and just details in the silicone the toes are not separated and they are it's just like she has a hole in her palm. I could have fixed that if I would have known how to if this wasn't my first baby. Now since she had so many problems in her in her um in her kit, I started looking up other things on how to repair the kit. So now I wanted to know how do you repair a kit? How do you uh take the skin tags off? How do you remove the uh pore spout? How do you remove sin se seams? So now <clears throat> That's why I stopped painting too because I wanted to know all of that stuff because if I ever buy a kit that looks like this, I need to prep it before I paint it. Where I didn't know I had to prep it before I painted it. I thought that it come prepped. Like once they pull it out the mold, that is ready to paint. You just have to wash it. But evidently it's not. And people are selling kits that are not uh, pre-prepped. And they don't tell you that they're pre they not pre-prepped prep and then you get this and i was like okay so you get what you pay for even if it's a, a, um authentic because she is an authentic she has a certified uh <clears throat> certificate and everything but she is not prepped so she don't look quality to me but she's definitely loved definitely she got glitter on her neck these babies that be up here playing in the middle of the night that glitter i don't even like glitter i don't know something in the house got glitter i'm gonna say it Say I have to go through my my arsenal of stuff and just remove everything with glitter. Because every now and again, my silicones will have a piece of glitter. And I don't know. I don't mess with glitter. And she got these short little stubby fingers where most babies have long fingers. But like I said, I do like her. I love her softness. But I, I have learned. <laughs> I have learned. And I hope my teeth and my tongue isn't orange because I've been drinking um, Sunkiss. And I've been playing games on the computer. I've been, like I said, I've been all over the place. I've been downloading games. I've been back into the game world. Uh, I've been running around with the kiddos, doing a lot of things with that. Uh, working, cutting hours from work. So, you know, it's just like my life is all over the place. And it's fun. I'm living it. I'm not just existing in it. And that's what it, that all that matters. My grandbaby is going to be doing a couple of months. I went to go see her and on the um, ultrasound. 
that just made my, my whole everything. It's so fun to actually experience my daughter's pregnancy and baby with her. And and when she was little, I always thought about the wedding and the husband and, and stuff like that. I never thought about the pregnancy. I don't know why. It never crossed my mind about how she would be pregnant or anything like that. But now we're here, and it's really amazing. <clears throat> and me and this, me and my daughters are close. Me and all my kids are close, actually. But so it's different than I guess if you wasn't close with your kids because we talk about everything. Like I'll be at work and she called me like I'm gonna make tuna for her tonight. She's gonna come by in the morning and pick it up. Right. Yeah, but she don't ask for a lot. She try to hold her own and keep her cravings to herself. But I told anything she want, I don't mind making it. Right. Thank her. Not thank her, thank her. So, to, yeah, when I go, I, at this point, I'm not taking any babies with me because it's a, it's a very busy business trip sort of kind of thing. And I'm going to do a lot of running around. And I don't want to do a lot of carrying stuff. And I got to carry the stuff for the kiddos. So, I don't want to um, carry one of my babies. She is a beautiful baby, though. She got a lot of details. And I would love to see more kits like this in the collection. Like, I know people had to buy this. Like, where is it? Not that I'm... I'm um, want to critique it or nothing i just want to know where's all the old kits where's all the old sculpts because they somewhere did you throw them away like is it they priceless to me like i would love to see the beginning of an artist's thought process that's why i like it i don't care if it's cheap or so cheap or it's hard i would love because me doing this i love looking back on wow look how far i came and even the lord Teresa, um dragon skin one in there I don't have her up-to-date silicones, but I've seen them multiple times at every show, held them and all that. <clears throat> and it's just amazing to see where she came from and how she started. And look at her now. It gives me hope to say, all right, if I'm starting out like this, imagine where I'll be later. So if you don't never see the old stuff, you can't really take the real appreciation of what you have now because they have grown so much. Even like Claire Taylor, I couldn't imagine what her first doll looked like. And now she probably could do it with her eyes closed. And I look forward to teaching the kids. Like I want my daughter to paint with me. Like I told her if I get her a kit, my um 20 year old, she's into art. We do easel painting together and stuff like that. So she's really good in easel painting. But I told her, if you could do easel painting, you probably could do this. And she do makeup and a lot of things. She did my makeup for Halloween one time. It was so beautiful. And because um, she said, oh, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. I said, it's Halloween. I'm not trying to do it right. It's Halloween. But she did it and it looked, it looked really good because I went to work. Everybody was amazed. Like, you know, because I always dress up. Last year, I didn't dress up for Halloween. Last year, I didn't do anything for most of the holidays except for Thanksgiving. Um... They, they was upset with me because I didn't dress up. They was looking forward to me dressing up. So this year, I'm pretty sure in my head right now, and I'm going to start shopping and dress up for this year. I'm probably going to be the Joker again. I'm not sure. I've been a Joker for a couple of years now. Each one is different, but it gets better each time. Um, so I might get some sidekicks with me this year. Who knows? I might be the Joker and some more superheroes. Because my daughter was Harley Quinn. <laughs> she was Harley Quinn... Um, the year before with me. I was the Joker. She was Harley Quinn. And um, her friend was something. I forgot what that person was. I forgot what they were. But they were something in there. So it's. You know, I, my house is cold. Because I ain't got the heat up. I never put the heat up. Because it helps me not you know, have asthma and stuff. But I'm going to have to turn the heat up. Because when I mop my floors. I want the vents to be going. So they'll dry fast. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. I went to Burger King again, but I didn't get anything because it was um Whopper Wednesday where you're supposed to get a Whopper for $3. And then I had a coupon if you get one 
Whopper, you get one free, but I couldn't use the coupon with that. And I was like, what? It's not really a deal, y'all. And then it was like, if you buy, uh, if you spend $3, you get free fries, but you couldn't use the coupon for that. If you use the $3 Wednesday Whopper, I'm like, what? I don't know. And I wonder if you have to use a coupon for the Wednesday Whopper. Because if you don't, then I guess I could have used the fries or something else. But I don't eat Burger King like that. I was just thinking about what can I get to, you know, before I go. So in the morning, I'm going to go to the supermarket and get a, a sub sandwich. Because I'm going to be at the airport a lot tomorrow. So that way I don't have to buy airport food. And I'm, once I do land, I'm going to be running around. So at least it would be good to have food with me. It's nothing worse than landing, being in the airport all day and land and don't have time to eat. And you got to go take care of some business. That is awful. <laughs> I look a little sleepy and I should be because I didn't sleep. I mean, I was supposed to sleep earlier, but I didn't. Because I'm trying to flip my time to daylight time. Because I usually sleep during the day and get up at night. So I need to be up tomorrow in the daytime. So I'm trying to stay up all day today. Which I'm doing pretty good. I'll probably go to sleep around 12. Hopefully. I don't know what time it is now. But I don't got that much to do. I already walked the dog. I got the food cooking. My food's sitting on the table cooling. And I mean it don't take but an hour to probably clean up. Oh, I got laundry going. So I got to finish the laundry. Other than that. I'm the, I'm the, I'll be done and I just got to put a couple outfits in the bag pretty much two or three outfits in the bag most likely two because I'll be back home in a couple of days and if I don't if I need more clothes I got this fantasy where I like to go buy more it gives you a reason to shop so I bring two outfits that way I have a reason to shop if I stay late longer but I doubt I'm staying longer because I got to work Sunday she got like a little nick on her nose and right here. It was already in the scope, but it looked like she might have scratched herself. So it don't look bad. I really like this baby. She got a lot of details in her. But she reminded me of um, the thing, the guy from Popeye, the old dude. Let me show you her face. I don't know what his name is. You know the little old dude that be on Popeye all the time? The bald-headed guy. She looks like him a little bit. <laughs> that could be her uncle. Right? That could be her uncle. You could be, that, your papa, a friend is your uncle? What is his name? But yeah, I'm going to get ready to go. It was wonderful talking with you. And again, share my videos, like my videos, and have a ball. And I look forward to seeing you guys' videos. So thanks for watching. You're going to say see you later, aunties, uncles, and cousins? Come on, give them a kiss. Say, see you later, auntie, uncles, and cousins. Like, say, see you later. Where your hand at, ma? You don't want to say it? See you later. Say, mm -hmm. thanks for watching.